What's up, bro? Sensor and next one's reacting to. I attempted my first Pokemon Nuzzle, Nuzzle Lock by Jada Animation because she uploaded it. You know? So, you know. Yeah, I'm feeling out what it is. It's, uh, no, I'm not gonna spoil the video for you guys since I actually haven't watched it yet. She just uploaded it. So, yeah. So, we're right to it. So, yeah. So, let's get to the video on uh, 3, 2, 1 because it's a long video. So, let's get to the video on 3, 2, 1. Wait a minute. Oh. It's only way about Angie's. Within the Pokemon community, there's a set of self-imposed rules Hard you can add to the games to Pokemon. make them more challenging, called Nuzlocke. a Pokemon Nuzlocke. You can only catch the first Tells Pokemon you. you run into per route. If a Pokemon faints, it dies, and you can't use it anymore. And you have to wow. nickname your Pokemon to get more attached to them. That means mm -hmm. if you aren't careful, you can technically lose a Pokemon game under those conditions. I've wanted to do a Nuzlocke for the longest Jeez. time. I've started a couple in the past, but never actually got to finish any because busy but today's the day mm. that all changes so i decided I, I to make a video on my first attempt at a pokemon I don't ever let's see how it mm, went mm, after breaking free from the back of the moving truck my mom lock, stuffed me in and introducing myself to the neighbor brendan the kid that i always thought was a monkey said that he heard screaming up ahead professor birch what? is getting mauled by a level two Pushiana, so i let his torchic out and she scratches the crap out of it he gifts me torchic oh, for rescuing him and i name her teriyaki my first pokemon teriyaki the more, I run into Why would you name him Teriyaki? Is it like just battle, accident? Where Teriyaki proceeds to also scratch the crap out of his mud kip. Good Jesus. job, Teriyaki. You're two for two. Doing great. Professor Birch He's gives me everyone. Calls, and the Nuzlocke has officially started. I walked back up to catch my first Pokemon and ran into a Zigzagoon. Alright, not the best, but I can work with this. You know, I think we're gonna have a really awesome adventure. And, um... Dude! So Teriyaki one-shotted Zigzagoon with a critical hit scratch, He's but whatever. Much. Contain uh, your a little bit, all right, guy? Route 102 is right around the corner, and that's where I was able to catch Corn the Sea Dot. Look at us, couple of friends ready to take on the Hoenn region together. After watching the weird kid Wally struggle to catch his first Pokemon, I continued on to Route 104 and found a little. I must say, if he could have ca ca catch it, how about you catch it? Aggressive and screams and hungry. Oh yeah. I know your name. In Petalburg Forest, a Team Magma Grunt <coughs> jumps some random professor, so Ari and Teriyaki peck his eyes out. Jesus! Oh, hello, Shroomish! This is being beaten love. I make it to Rustboro and oh, we're getting ready to take on Roxanne's gym. Teriyaki kills another Zigzagoon mm. I was about to catch. Teriyaki's What's the problem with Zigzagoons, dude? But it turned out all right because what she is also Teriyaki ended up evolving. killing everyone. Onion was able to destroy Roxanne with ease, and we got our first gym badge. Exiting the gym, we catch a glance. If you use a grass type, it's, no it's you know you will beat the gym. The scorching earth or something. And this old man exclaims that they stole his Pico. Here's your dog. Also, you're coming with me. Your the dog? He thanks me by turning me into his errand boy, and I arrive in Duford to give a letter to Steven. Alright, what do we got? Uh oh. Okay, you mm -hmm. chomps. Catch. After finding Steven, it was time to take on Brawly, the next gym leader. Ari's a stone cold. So basically, killer, he and he's a fighting type gym, fight. so you know. Too bad so if he's a flying type, looking good. you know, on you will win. the next city, I caught a tentacle on the beach. <sighs> Squidward. And after beating oh, the I get one, he's Brendan again in Slate you know, Park, it was time again to get ready for the gym battle with Watson. But as I was fighting some trainers, Chomps the Mawile got electrocuted a bit too hard and was killed. Rip. IEP. Jaden, let's battle. I want to show you how strong I am. Are you sure about that? <laughs> he said, okay. nope, no, no. Ari, this is an electric gym. You're not allowed to fight in here, so you can just wait outside. While battling the gym trainers, Onion evolved into mm. Breloom, and together hey. with Teriyaki, they were able to get another victory. Now we were riding high. Three gym badges in, and since no electric types can't be um grass types, them. with our massive confidence, we decided to take on the Wind Straight family's challenge of beating all their family members. I had Squidward out front to get him some experience, but we ran into some troubles Squidward? with Grandma. Oh god, it's gonna do a high jump kick. We can take him out, but I need a clean switch first. Take him out. Take him out, come on. Alright. So oh, Jesus. Touch child, the Wismer, but honestly, that was the oh same my move god. No one else died. Goodbye, Hush Child. You might be missed. While we were heading to Fall Arbor, fighting some trainers, Ari evolved. Oh, look at my big bird. Oh, look at you. Yeah. 
exactly about we were Big almost Bird. to town, but we had to get through the sooty grass on 113. Hmm. Oh, jeez. All right, Barf, get in there with the rest of them. I walk into <laughs> Meeple Falls to see Team Aqua and Team Magma arguing about water and rocks. They kept complaining and I had to go up back. the volcano they were blocking to fight Maxi, the Team Magma leader. That was a hard fight. Onion and Teriyaki were able to take out his Mighty Anna and Camerupt, but his Golbat hit hard. I ended up Jesus. having to switch in Ari and double team up to win the battle. Not the most honorable of strategies, but it worked and we're moving on. On the way down the volcano, I ran into a matchup. Oh, hello there, Chad. What? You're a female? Chad! Did I stutter? We arrived in Lava Ridge Town and started getting through Flannery's gym. During that time, Squidward was- I understand you can, you can name your Pokemon any name, I'm just saying. Oh. It's funny. Oh my gosh, that does a lot of damage. It's strong. <laughs> but when it came time dead. to battle, he pulled his weight and more. Honestly, with the team, there wasn't much I could have done to Flannery's fire Pokemon, but Squidward came in clutch by learning Bubble Beam, and it was all over for her. Since you know, water types can be fire Brandon types. met up with us outside the gym to give us goggles so we could walk in the sandstorms. I found a claw fossil, and Anorith was born. I didn't know what to name it, so my friend named him Gary. Now it was time for the fifth Gary. Time. After some training, Chad evolved into Machoke, and the team was leveled Machoke. up. I started the battle with Ari, and after realizing I was in trouble... Yeah, that doesn't do a lot of damage. Oh, wow. Uh... Oh! I managed to squeak by with more double teams. Ari was barely able to take out the first slacking, so when the second, stronger one came out, I knew I had to use a different strategy. I brought out Onion to leech seed it and try and get more chip damage in, which worked, but he was also killed by slacking's facade, oh, which I thought he could take. Chad was able to finish off the rest of the fight, but that was the first death that actually hurt. I'm not crying. I, I Someone's pee. just I chopping pee. onions in here. She, but with every down, there's why is she chomping him? Horn stepped up and was ready to fill Onion's spot. While passing through Mauville again, why is he chomping Onion? Turn off the city's generator. Jesus. And while down there, I found a Magnemite. Do you want to come with? Okay. We kept on our way, catching Spurky the Electric, and while fighting some trainers, Corn survived two very close calls. He took a sword from dying, boosted Fury Cutter by Ninjask, and a misclick from me, which resulted in him tanking a wing attack from a Talo. No, no, no. no, 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 no. He's a. He's a. He's a. Dude, Corn, I'm so sorry. You're such a trooper. Good news is Squidward evolved while training, so that's neat. We arrived in Fortree City, and this was a gym I was really nervous about. Not only did we not have a good team to take on a flying type gym, but Winona's mm -hmm. Altaria is notorious for sweeping teams if she sets up too many dragon dances. I went mm -hmm. to the grass to train up the team, and the worst happened. Corn was killed by pin missile from a zigzagoon. Wait. Wait, no, no, no. Wait, no, what? No, no. Stop, 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 Corn. Wow. Corn, no. Corn. IEP again. You monster, how could you do this? Is this why you kept trying to kill all the zigzagoons? I want to think that Corn sacrificed himself because he knew we were at too much of a disadvantage going into Winona's gym. And by opening up a space, we could get the type advantage we needed to stand a chance. With a heavy heart, okay, I'll let you type. taps off the Magnemite to the Magnemite. team and realized how much more grinding I was going to have to do. I had to fight wow. so many Merrells to get Zip Zap Zop on par with the rest of the team. You want to know how many? The move Thunderbolt can be used 15 times before it runs out. And I had to go back to the Pokemon Center almost six separate times to refill it. Meaning Zip Zap Zop killed more than 80 Meryl that were living God in that lake. Damn. Winona led with Swellow, which Zip Zap Zop was able to take out. But she immediately brought out Altaria, which made me very scared because I know she's got Earthquake on that thing. I didn't have a clean switch, mm. and I knew no one on the team could take two hits from this cloud bird, so I ultimately decided that I'd have to have Zip Zap Zop paralyze it in exchange for his death. Goodbye, Zip Zap Zop. You weren't here for long, but your efforts will not be in vain. We will win oh the Pokemon. <laughs> that was Zip Zap Zop, lived the earthquake, 
on 2 HP like a mad lad. Because since he's a legend type, eh, you know, Earthquake is like <laughs> there was definitely a 90% chance that you know, to of course, it's going to be an uh, electric type. I was able to switch Ari in for Zip Zap Zop to predict another Earthquake and started chipping away at the Altaria, which was not going to be easy. She was already starting to stack up those Dragon Dances, which make her moves even more powerful, and I was legitimately sweating. But with what little I've been luck sweating too. had left, Winona got greedy and tried to get in that last dragon dance, and that's when Ari was able to swoop in and snipe that kill. Me? If that Altaria would have decided to attack at any point, she would have one-shotted anyone and everyone on my team. Thank you, Korn. You shined your photosynthesis onto us. From there, I was able to you heal up steps up and sweep the rest of her team. The sixth gym badge was ours. That was a tough Once fight. I yeah, she goes up. The skull I was able to catch. I tried to have Gary on the team. Yeah, she just put sin. Him from the dirt, but he honestly has like no moves that do damage, so I decided to replace him with Sin. We arrived in Lily Cove and I sin. tried fishing on the beach for a Pokémon, what, but what's his, what what is going to evolve to? A Sinner? Hard and killed it. We stormed Team Magma's base and while trying to get the Master Ball they've got on the ground, an Electrode exploded and oh. killed Chad, which was uncalled for. After beating their Admin, they but then again, the they, they always explode anyway, so you know. Gym. Tate and Liza were the first double battle gym leaders, and I didn't realize until too late that I was just a okay. tad under Now, since they are, you know, s s um, they don't have any more than two Pokemon, so I think we should be okay. 42? And you're at like 36. Oh, 36. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Sin and Zip Zap Zop made a good duo being able to confuse and paralyze them. Hmm. Soul Rock managed to get off a sunny day powered flamethrower in Zip Zap Zop's face, oh. which totally killed him. That really sucked. He wow. put in so much work for the team and really carried us this far. The rest of this fight's for you, Zip Zap Zop. Squidward came out and together with Sin were able to finish off the duo, getting us our seventh gym badge. Hey. All right, Sparky, you're up. Uh, I think I single-handedly wiped out the entire water Pokemon population between Zip Zap Zop and Sparky. I went to show wow. him and, and he got field and went out to take on Maxi one last time. For some reason, I didn't learn my lesson when being underleveled for Tate and Liza, because I was even more underleveled for Maxi. My Diana. Thirty-one. It doesn't go down. Yeah, thirty-four. <laughs> fight was rough. Chad was able to take out his mighty Anna, but I resorted okay. to Squidward when his Crobat came out, and luck wasn't on my side here because Squidward was killed by a high roll wing attack. The way Pokemon works is there's a small range of damage an attack can do. It's not actually the same all the time. Depending on like, you know, the type, their so level, like their Squidward attack point, two their power. Maxi was able to get a low so, you know, roll on the first one and a high roll on the second. So, you know, it, dep it depends on, you know, how, you know, wasn't time to give how strong they are and stuff. Um, what's, what's the, you know, Squidward. what type is the attack? Robot, what type is your Pokemon? So, like, you know, it, it depends. Slide. It was a tough battle, but we squeaked by. Barely. Oh. After that fight, I needed to take a step back and seriously grind up the team again. If we were just a bit more underleveled, we would have been murdered. Mm. Bloody joined the team and uh, got to work, eventually arriving at uh, the Steven and the Sutopolis gym leader Wallace were there saying Groudon was in the cave because someone used the wrong orb and pissed him off. So yeah. I went in there walked up to Groudon and Master Ball the movie. There's no way I'm fighting Groudon. Now get in the box. While fighting Wallace, Sperky was able to take out his love disc in Celio. Sin beat his Whiskash and Chad finished off the Milotic. The team was perfect. And after obtaining our final gym badge, I knew we were ready for the Elite Four. We got through Victory Road. Wally tried to fight us for the last time, but he just needs to stop. We exited the cave and there it was, the final challenge.
here we go. Sydney was up oh, first, on, and honestly, Lee. he wasn't a challenge at all. Chad and Teriyaki were able to take oh. care of his team with ease. Phoebe wasn't difficult either, with Sin and Blobby being MVPs. Glacio was a bit tougher. <laughs> Teriyaki was able to take out her Glalies, and Sperky could handle Damn. her Celios. But her wall rain was the big problem. Wall rains are thick, can tank a lot of hits, and can do a lot of damage. I would know. She's an ice beam. I brought out Chad and she was able to get in a good amount of damage, but she was ultimately killed by Blizzard. Sin came out to try and confuse it, but it broke through the confusion and landed a Sheer Cold. Sheer Cold Damn. is a one-hit KO move. It has a 30% chance of hitting the target and will fail if the target Pokemon's level is higher than the user's. But even under all wow. those conditions, it hit and Sin was killed. Two great Rest team in peace. Members down and out. Chad was with us for so long and pulled so much weight and Sin got us through some really tough battles. Even with those losses we were able to finish Glacia off and move on to the final Elite Four member, Drake. Drake's got a tough team, but we've got a blood and she wanted revenge for her fallen comrades. She fallen comrades. Every single one of Drake's Pokemon. Hey, since they're ice, since uh, since he used Dragon types, if he use an ice type move, of course you're gonna win. Steven Stone. I was legitimately nervous. I led with Sperky to take out his Skarmory as quick as possible, and Bluffy was able to take out his Claydol and Agron, but then came his Metagross. This might be the end. Metagross is Steven's strongest Pokemon, so I needed to hinder it as much as I could before it started doing serious damage. I knew before you lose, you had to reset. Earthquake, which would definitely take out most of my team. So I had to have Sperky Kamikaze to get a paralysis off. Blubby came out again, and after a lot of hard work, mm. finally beat the Metagross by spamming Surf. Teriyaki was able Spencer. to face his Cradilly, and his mm. final Pokemon was Armaldo, Gary's final revenge for getting booted from the team. I brought out Blobby because Teriyaki. You said I'm gonna evolve and, and prove, prove I'm, I'm, I'm stronger. I should be on your team. I knew she was gonna have to die. So with a heavy heart, Blobby pulled off her last surf, getting Armaldo in the red, and was killed. Mm -hmm. Teriyaki, the Pokemon who's been with us from the start. Who's seen her friends die from the start of our journey? G refused to let any more murder happen. Onion, corn, zip zap zop, Squidward, Chad, Sin, Sperky, Blubby. Their zeros and ones won't go <laughs> down in vain. One good kick to the head. Oh, we much. did it. We completed the Pokemon Ruby Nuzlocke. Teriyaki and Ari were the only survivors, but the whole team put in a lot of work to get us to number one. A cheer number one. to the true mad lads. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. I'm not crying. <laughs> so guys, yeah, that was a video. Um, I play, I play Pokemon. So guys, uh, I am gonna be getting Pokemon Sword and Shield if uh, if my parents get it for me. So yeah, um, so guys, that was a video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, and subscribe. And if you guys enjoyed, follow up on the video. So guys, that was a video. See you guys later. Bye. That was a video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, and subscribe. And if you guys enjoyed, follow up on the video. That was a video. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Peace.